Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this one, doing a full NBA trade deadline breakdown for NBA Top Shot. So if you don't know about the NBA trades, moments seem to skyrocket, at least initially, and sometimes even for the long term in price. When players are traded to good teams, or even if other players are thrust into better situations with their current team, their prices go up. So we're going to talk all about that in this one. And before I get into this, I want to just address quickly the pack issues that they had with the Kevin Durant pack. So if you didn't watch my first video on that for the elite packs, they basically messed them all up and refunded everyone who bought a pack. And if I'm doing my math correctly, they sold over 20,000 packs and refunded everyone $49, which would be over a million dollar in refund. And then not going to get too much into the standard Kevin Durant packs, but they also had some mistakes in those ones. If people got a hollow legendary moment, which are worth $900 plus for a $19 pack, they also were getting 4K rookies in their standard base set commons to go in the same pack, and some of those are five, 600 bucks as well. So a lot of kind of weird stuff been going on with this new drop format. If you want a full video on that, let me know down below. But kind of waiting to see their announcement on what happened with the standard packs before I put a video out on that. So anyways, let's get into this one. I'm a Kings fan. Traded Tyrese Halliburton for Demontis Sabonis. And Halliburton's one of these moments that can move because he doesn't have a ton of moments on the platform. His rookie moments out of 40K was just $27. Now it's up to 34. And if I open this up, it's up to 38. I've been on this for a while and the trade just happened. So a quick $11 profit for just a $27 investment. Probably even more this one will go up, but I was not able to snipe one. I was trying to snipe one around 30, but wasn't able to. So in this one, we're going to look at a bunch of other players that could potentially be traded and have their moments go up because of it. So you can get in on them early and flip. But I wanted to show you an example of how this really works. The Tyrese Halliburton one is not a great example. You could see Nikhil Alexander Walker, who was just traded to the Blazers for CJ McCollum and a bunch of other players. He's probably going to get an opportunity with the Blazers while Lillard's out to show what he can do finally. So I'm excited to see what he can do. But if we pull his moment up on Evaluate Market, I'm pretty sure this one went to a near double in price just based off the news. So in the last seven days, you can see his price was down to $20, $21 yesterday and then selling for high or low 40s, $40, even for not great cereals, $39. So this one went way up based on that trade. And moments like this are going to go a lot higher than, say, a Sabonis. Because if we look at the market and we look at Nikhil Alexander-Walker's moments, he has a 60K, 12K, and a 2,000 rare moment. While Sabonis has so many moments and so many just total NFTs that it's not going to bump up one in particular that much. I mean, if you look at it, he has 40,000 here, 10,000 here, 4,000 here, 35,000 here, 15, 10, and another 15. So he just has so many moments on the platform that his aren't going to bump as much. Pretty sure this seeing stars I have of him bumped maybe $3, but you're not going to see significant bumps. So I'm going to be targeting guys that don't have an insane amount of moments on the platform and a good way you can find NBA trade rumors and players like this. I like going to Hoops Hype. They basically are a website that puts news stories in little boxes right here. Easy to scroll through. And I'm on the trade tag. So just any news story that is a, from a legit source gets posted here with trade. So you can see they already posted the Sabonis Halliburton trade. Some other news rumors, which is what you're most interested in, not trades that already happen. You can see like this is some reporter from 
the Toronto Raptors. So if you click on his Twitter, it'll show you the source. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but he's basically a web TV radio host for the NBA and specifically the Raptors right now. So it'll give you legit sources. One player I like that they're talking about is Goran Dragic. He's basically said he is not going to play for the Raptors. And they're looking to trade him. And I think this is just a good one uh, to target. So I actually recently bought one based on him potentially getting traded. I bought his debut out of 1600 And it's up to 75 now. I bought it for 71 and he doesn't have that many moments on the platform. He has a 40K, a 15K. And then besides that, his next highest is out of 1900 Picked up his debut for just 71 And a way I just like to look at this is on these ones that don't get a ton of sales, you can look back. And here's my sale actually right here for $71. But before that, 77 80 75 77 77 so I felt like I was getting a pretty good deal on this one even though these are some lower serials than I was able to get except I guess this 1500 and this 1500 but I felt like that was a good buy and I think if he gets traded this moment could potentially go over 100 and what's good about getting these with low min counts is not that many have to get bought just maybe what is that 15 moments for this one to get up to a hundred dollars so it could be a good quick way to flip make 30 maybe even 40 bucks on a moment like this coming back to hoops hype looking at some other ones tht and kendrick young the kendrick nunn apparently the lakers are trying to trade because it seems like it's going to be impossible to trade westbrook so targeting these guys i'm sure they don't have a ton of moments unlike westbrook who probably has a lot of moments already so if we look at Taylor Horton Tucker right now, he just has not been doing well for the Lakers. Definitely his trade value has gone down. So if they flip him to a team that's looking to rebuild, he maybe could be their starting in their starting lineup and just have a great rest of the season. And he doesn't have that many moments. He has a 60K, 40K, and his debut is only 17 bucks. So Maybe a debut here I would like to purchase. I have a 40K right now. I don't know how much that would bump up, but I could definitely see a debut moment bumping up for him. And then Kendrick Nunn is a player I actually flipped in free agency. Similar to the trade deadline when guys sign deals with teams, their moments will go up. I flipped his debut moment. It's actually also a rookie Back then, I think I bought it for 40 and flipped it for maybe 70 or something. So it went up 30 bucks. This one's pretty high right now. It is a three badge moment. So if you want to invest a good amount into Kendrick Nunn, assuming he gets traded or maybe even comes back to the Lakers and plays pretty well, we could see some of the recent sales on this one. People are buying it for 105, 109. So it's actually a deal right now at 100 based on these last two sales from two days ago. And then there's another thing I like to look at is how many people are gonna have to buy it for it to go up a significant amount. So this one, not many. So if one, two, three, four, five, six, six, just six sales happens, this one goes up 20 bucks. And then if you get like 20 sales, this one goes up 50 bucks in price as long as people aren't listing it. But the trend always seems like when players get traded, their moments just get bought up. So I could easily see this one going to 150 Just $100 is a good amount of an investment into Kendrick Nunn, especially because there hasn't been much news around him recently, and he's injured. Another one here is Terrence Ross. I really thought he was going to get traded last trade deadline. Maybe this is the year, but he's basically been stuck on the Magic as a veteran who's a great six-man type of player. He doesn't have an insane amount of moments either. I own his 40K and his debut from Series 1. You can definitely see this Series 1 from just 33 bucks going up if he's traded. Maybe the Lakers are interested in him as, a, as another scorer. I mean, probably anyone who picks him up is going to be a contending team looking for some bench scoring. So I could see that one being a good buy. One guy in trade rumors is John Collins. Apparently, he's saying now that he wants to stay with the team so i don't know if he's actually going to get traded but his moments could really go off as long as he doesn't have 
an insane amount of moments, which I don't think he does compared to like a Sabonis. But you can see he has a 60K and a 40K. So he has a decent amount of moments. If I was looking to invest in the Johns Collins, I would probably go after a debut for just 75 bucks. Seems like a pretty good deal compared to some of the other moments on here. Or maybe even his throwdowns moments for 93 is kind of getting up there. But this one could be a good a good buy. But if we do come look at this one, you can see how this one would be harder for it to go up. There's five listed here at 75 and then a bunch. So just to make $10 back, you're going to need, it looks like, almost 20 sales. So this one probably wouldn't move as much. So that's something to look at definitely on these ones when you're looking to invest in a, in a trade chip. So just scrolling through here, I don't see too many other big rumors, but there's definitely a lot to look into. And this is a good source. Uh, one I saw here was Dante DiVincenzo for Dennis Schroeder. So Schroeder's probably they're looking to trade him from the Celtics. And probably anyone who wants to get him is uh, going to be a contender. And Schroeder doesn't have that many moments. He has a 40K. His debut at a 2,800 is only 47. That would be an interesting one to look at. So if you buy this one for 47, price automatically goes to 50. And then not that many sales to get it up to 60 bucks. Like looks like 10 sales to get it up to 60 bucks after you buy. So fairly good investment in Schroeder if he's moved. And I think Celtics are heavily looking to move him. Honestly, I might even just buy his debut out of 2,800. If he goes to the playoff team, I could see this one in the playoffs rising up as well. And lastly, I don't think the Kings are done making moves. I think they really want to trade Marvin Bagley if they could find a trade partner. Maybe the Blazers uh, when they're trying to just acquire some young players with potential. It seems like Bagley, 45 bucks. I do own one of these as well, just be warned. <laughs> uh, but Bagley, I could see he just has like 44,000 moments on the platform, so not a lot. And then another one, if the Pacers are just completely turning their Ross around, Malcolm Brogdon is another one, but he has a good amount of moments. And Miles Turner as well, who actually doesn't have that many moments. He has a 40K, but besides that, a 10K. And then they have the Hustle and Show out of 18. And his debut is just 67. But honestly, in my opinion, I think they hold on to him. Who knows? That is one to target there. And his metallic gold down to 125 from 186 average sale. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one on the trade deadline. A lot of news probably coming in the next few days when the trade deadline hits February 10th. If you enjoyed this one, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know your thoughts on if you want me to put out kind of a recap of these Kevin Durant packs and Basically everything that unfolded once Top Shot makes an announcement on that. And I'll be sure to make that video for you guys. And until then, I'll catch you guys in another one.